Drum Alert Nation. I'm your host, Killer Keemstar. Let's get right into the news. Now, our first story is coming from Vitaly. Vitaly's a fucking idiot. Vitaly uploaded a video yesterday titled Vitaly vs. The Bull, where he claims he's going to live stream him bullfighting. And then today, he fucking did it. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and you're probably thinking to yourself, oh, I wonder if he got hurt. Yeah, he fucking did. No, 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 no. He broke, he broke your chillers. Do I chillers broken? Stop. He broke what? Stop. Stop. Oh, he broke Stop. his jaw. But did he really break his jaw? According to him, yes. He tweeted out, broken jaw, fuck. Thanks for watching. Vitaly, man, I like you, but dude, it just seems like you're falling off and like people stopped watching you. So you're doing all this crazy, so you're climbing the Hollywood signs, you're interrupting speeches, now you're bullfighting. What's next? Like, are, are you gonna let an alligator eat off your leg for YouTube views? Also in the news. Now we talked about how FouseyTube false flag Colossal is crazy's video. And this has been going on, this has been big news. Well today, FouseyTube actually responded by uploading a video titled, Why I Remove the Video Copyright Drama. And within this video, he says the reason why he took down Colossal's video was because Colossal dubbed a voiceover over his mother. FouseyTube went on to say that he has no idea about copyright and the copyright rules and that he is going to reinstate the video. And while, uh, People are confused. Kid behind the camera responded by saying his entire video is total bullshit. He expects people to believe this knowing the actions he took. Laughing out loud. Here's an idea. Don't want your parents mentioned? Then don't lie about getting them a house. Now Colossal is crazy responded with a big longer tweet, but who the fuck wants to read the Bible? But in short, he did say this on the Twitter. Now that he's admitted that he didn't know what the fuck he was doing when he claimed the video, can he be penalized for copyright abuse? To clarify, I'm not saying I'm gonna do anything about it, just wondering if YouTube will. Also in the news, YouTube's anorexic girl known as Eugenia Cooney, we reported here that uh, people were doing a petition trying to get her off YouTube because she is setting a bad example for teenage girls because of her eating disorder or whatever. And well, I guess the mainstream media has uh, picked up on it. Yahoo covering the story, The Sun, The Daily Mail, The Daily Record, The Mirror, The New York Daily News, and a bunch more. And I tried to reach out to Eugenia Cooney on Twitter and like her Twitter's gone. I was trying to figure out what was going on. She posted this on Instagram. Hey guys, my Twitter and Snapchat is currently hacked. Just so you know, it sucks a lot, and hopefully, I will get it back soon. You know, as much hate as Eugenia Cooney has been getting recently, I just want to say this, like, from talking to her, she's a really nice person, but obviously has an issue that she needs fixed. Also in the news. Now, this is shocking news. This is this, this is just shocking. We're talking about Shane Dawson. Are you sitting down? Make sure you're not standing up. Sit down. Sit down, all right? I don't want you to faint, all right? Apparently, Shane Dawson has a boyfriend. Shane Dawson posted on Instagram that this is his boyfriend. I had no idea. Now, I tweeted out, oh, my God, I'm shocked that Shane Dawson's gay. And he responded, no, he is bisexual. Girls, you lost this round. Also in the news, uh, an old school YouTuber by the name of D Storm uploaded a video, Why Vine Died. And well, D Storm just kept bragging about how much money he makes on Vine. Like, uh, watch this clip. I personally touched millions of people and made my millions way before the app was created. A lot of the creators went on to make six, seven, and some of them even eight figs. In my prime, I can make $50,000 for one Vine. Now, after he says all that, this is the part that fucking got me. To the heartbroken fans, the followers, and supporters, we love you. See, we do this for you. <laughs> To the heartbroken fans, the followers, and supporters, we love you. See, we do this for you. <laughs> you see, we do this for you. <laughs> we were making fifty thousand dollars a day. We were making millions. We were making so much money. Oh, and by the way, fans, we do this for you. <laughs> and now for our final story. Yesterday, Mr. Rice Gum made a diss track on the Zoe burger 
titled Zoe Berger Roasted Me Diss Track. And well, Zoe Berger responded by, uh, well, this. Everyone thank Rice Gum for helping me get just a little closer to one mil. This is for you, babe. A picture of her completely fucking naked. Rice Gum responded by saying, no, thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the news today. I feel so good that I'm back. My internet fucked up and... Thank God TY covered for me and then my sleep schedule got all jacked and I'm back and I feel so good and I just want to say shout out to everybody on the notification squad. If you have notifications on for the drum alert, you my homie, we homies or homets, excuse me ladies, didn't mean to, you know, not include you. Ladies and gentlemen, if you love Drum Alert, make sure you slap a like on it. Drum Alert Nation now over 1,650,000. Subscribers!